Hello, welcome back to a new episode of LinuxMoster.net version 7. My name is Stefan from openschoolsolutions.org and today we are going to install OpenSense or Firewall. For example, we use a network. It's a 10.000 slash 20 network and for our domain we use ad.openschoolsolutions.org and we decided for XCPNG a hypervisor managed with Xen Orchestra I'll uh, leave a link in the show notes where you can find how to install this. Okay, before we start, we need to create an ISO storage in Xen Orchestra because there's a, this is a place where we store all our ISO files for uh, OpenSense, for Ubuntu and whatever ISO files we may need during the setup. Okay. So before we can create uh, the ISO storage in Xen uh, Orchestra, we need to log into our server. So um, here we have our server logged in and I've done that before. So I created a path here under slash ISO storage. And if you look inside, I have a bunch of ISOs already inside. So you need to create a, a folder on your Xen server or XCPNG. And then we go to OpenSense website and want to download the ISO file. Okay. So here on the download page, we check AMD 4064. For um, the image type, we will use DVD. And you can select mirror. So I'll go for. DNS root, Cloudflare, CDN, and then you get a, a link here. So we copy that link and then we go back to our terminal and that you get and then just paste the link and start the download. I've done that before. So you see it's a BZ2 file. So you need to unzip it first before you can use the ISO file. And, and you can use uh, the unzip2 to unzip this file so you can use it in our ISO storage. Okay, so when you download this file, it takes a while and depending on your internet connection, we go back to Xen Orchestra and we will create a new storage. So we go here to storage, new storage and we select our host um, here. We will put uh, storage like ISO storage here I put already um, this server and some description, local ISO files. Okay, just use this. Oops. And we select the storage type. It's a local ISO storage. You can add like SMB or NFS if you have like a NFS server or SMB, but we use local. And here, here we enter our path. So this is the path I created, ISO storage slash ISO storage, and you can then just click create. Okay, I've done it already. So I go to my storages here on home storages, and here we have our ISO storage, and I can go to disk, and here you can see all the ISOs that are in this ISO storage. If you've if you've downloaded a new ISO storage, then you can go here, rescan all disk, and it rescans all the disk in the ISO storage, and it should show up here in the list. Okay, that's all we need to do before we can start installing um, OpenSense. We create a new virtual machine, and we select our pool again, and for template, we use other media, install media, we give it a name, OpenSense, and here is our firewall description. Okay, you can assign as much CPUs as you want, two is at least recommended, and four gigabyte. And here we can select our ISO file, so OpenSense. And for the network, it's important. The first network interface is our LAN site. So all the school computers where the Linux Monster server is, this is a LAN. So we choose our LMN network. This is a network I've set up before. You need to set up it on your pool and create the network there. 
it's pointing to your LAN. Okay. The second interface will be the VAN. So that's pointing to your ISP router or whatever outside connection you have. So we use the VAN here. This is the second interface. So first interface is a LAN side. Second interface is the VAN side. And you can add more interfaces. Um, we just do two right now. Okay. Then we will then we will add a disk for our firewall. 120 gigabyte should be fine, and we don't want to boot the uh, VM after creation. Just an attack here, and then we are good to go. Create. Okay, now with our virtual machine created, I go to disks and just change the boot order. We don't want network. DVD drive and just put hard drive in front of DVD. Okay, save. And we can go to console and start our firewall. Okay, this might take a while. Okay, firewall installer booted. So we can install with installer. And our password is open sense. Okay, here we go. So let's go. Yes, we, you can change your default key map here because I'm using a German keyboard. I will go to DE. Okay, accept the changes. And then we go to guide installations. Uh, yes, this is our disk we want to use. And we leave this to GPT mode. And then we are good to go. Yes, you want to have a recommend web partition. Okie dokie. And now our firewall is installing. And we need to wait again. Okay, installer finished installing all the files and we need to enter our root password. Later, the Linux Muster server will auto configure this firewall, so we have to set the password to Muster. Type it in two times. Okay, accept and set password. And now we can reboot our virtual machine, our firewall. Okay, here we are. So we see now that our LAN interface is uh, 192, 168, 20. So this is a IP where we can log into our firewall, firewall and we see our uh, VAN set is not configured yet because there was no DHCP running on the WAN side. Okay, so I have prepared another virtual machine running Ubuntu where we can access the firewall um, setup wizard. Here we have our Ubuntu uh, client and if I click on network you see it's in the same network like the LAN side of the firewall. And so we are going in the console and just make it bigger and I, I log in here. Okay, and as you can see, check on the connection information. We are not connected right now, but if I click on wire connection, it should be right. Okay, now we are connected. And we we'll see I have an IP address from the LAN interface. So we can go ahead and log in. So I'll open the web browser here. And it's one nine two one sixty eight one dot one. Okay, we'll ask me this question because it's a self signed certificate, and we go and accept and continue. So we log in with our root credentials like root and muster exclamation mark. Log in. Okay, don't save. Okay, now the configuration wizard will will start and we'll enter some more details. Okay, first hostname, I just put F W for um, firewall. Our domain is ad.openschoolsolutions.org. Language, okay. Our primary DNS server, um, we can choose one from the van side. You can choose uh, Google DNS, I, uh, whatever you want. I will choose the one we have here on the van. And maybe 
so the second one okay we can leave that like this and go to the next step okay time zone you can set wherever you live we are here in Asia uh, where is it Asia and Bangkok time zone next Okay, so we can leave it. Now we are configuring the van interface. So the one that's pointing to the outside and we want to have a static uh, configuration here. So I'll enter an IP address. In our case is uh, this IP address here. And our upstream gateway is this IP address. So if you have an ISP router and it's configured uh, DHCP, you can just uh, enter, select DHCP here. But if you want to have a static configuration, then you need to enter the details depending on your setup in your school. Okay, leave it like this here. Okay, because our uh, router is in a private network space, we need to untick this one here, otherwise it will be blocked. So we go to the next one, our LAN interface, and here we set up the network we like to have. So it's 10.0.0.1, and we had a subnet mask of 20. Oops. Yeah, 20. Okay, this is our LAN appearance. Sorry, this is not the right one, this is the correct one. We want to use this for the firewall, and dot one will be for the server. Okay. Next, root password, we keep it, um, we keep the one we have currently. And now we're going to reload. Okay, now the configuration is reloaded and we can't access our server here on this interface anymore because um, we just changed the IP address of our firewall. So we need to reconnect, so I uh, disconnect. And if everything works out, we should get a new IP. Okay, let's check connection information. And we see we got now a new IP address of our new network. Okay, so we go to the website 10.0.0254. This is the one, and we have the question again because it's the new address. Accept and continue, and we can log in again with our credentials. Here we go. Okay, now our um, firewall is almost set up. We see here are both in different faces. We have the van side, it's connected. We have uh, the land side, everything is fine. So, first thing we need to do is to disable DHCP on the land side because this will be done by our Linux Muster server and not from the firewall. So we disable DHCP here and save. And the next thing is we want to enable SSH and on the system uh, settings administration. And here we go. SSA secure shell, we want to enable that. We want to permit root login because we need it later for auto configuration. And we also need to log in first with the password. So later it will be disabled, but right now we want to permit password login. SSH port, we leave everything by default. And we can save it now. Good, go back to lobby and dashboard. And here we are, we have our host name. Um, everything is fine and interfaces are up. Okay, that's it for today. We've installed the firewall, open sense, set up the interfaces, SSH access is enabled, DHCP is disabled. So next time we will install the Linux Muster server and yeah, hope to see you soon.